Lydia and Tyler, get over there by her goat. Hi. Boy. Yeah. No, it's okay. Bye-bye, goats. We are Revolutionary War Artillery. We have three pieces here today. A howitzer, a three pound field gun, and a one pound galloper gun. The galloper is designed to be pulled by a small pony or lifted and carried by four men. Gentlemen, take care. At the right of back, peace. Assemble to the peace, march. Take up, implement. And this man was an officer representing the British King to the Creek and the Cherokee Indians. I chatted with him. So potentially, y'all have a good time. Some coffee brewing. Here's some more cooking utensils. Some of the period tents. Here are the rifles stacked together. And the stream is flowing real well. Lots of good fresh water coming out. And the roast is? Um, and the roast is a leg of venison that's been boned out. It's part of a leg. And they're 
the bone out and then tied with this string to make it as uniform as possible around rose. And uh, then I put the spit through it in the iron part. And every once in a while I would turn it. And it hopefully by the you think it got home tonight. <laughs> Is it close enough to the fire? Yeah, I hope so. It's getting brown. And, uh, and uh, now the reason why it's pretty hot there. You stick your hand under there. It's yeah. Hot. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh huh. I think that's the school, yeah. And this is where we just were with the roast cooking. And what's over that way? I don't know, I can't tell. And here's a wood carver. Never a dull moment, no pun intended. Tyler, where's your knife? I don't have one yet. You don't I'm have one? I'm getting one really soon. Oh, okay. You're going to get one for your birthday? No. I'm getting a pocket knife. Yeah. <laughs> Sharpening bench that's in the basement of the Brothers Building in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at the Moravian Village. Um, I got in there and they allowed me to take some pictures and measurements and all, so then I made a copy of it. The only difference between theirs and mine is I have a tin water bucket and they had a wooden carved water bucket. But uh, after making it, I found out why it was designed the way it was because I looked at it and thought, well, this is, there's some impractical things here. Come to find out it's real practical. I don't have a tomahawk or an axe or anything, but if you can visualize it, if you're working on a tomahawk, handle sticks out like this you can only sharpen this side because if you turn it this way you can't crank it anymore and then it dawned on me wait a second this is designed that way so I can do one of two things I can either get up and go to the other side of the bench in which case I could sharpen this side because I would be cranking it and the handle sticking out the other way or because it's on a cradle I can pop it out Turn it over, and I can stay on this side and sharpen. Very good. Whatever. So this this is just kind of what a lot of us learn by having something like this, starting to use it, and then you realize some of the practical advantages of what what they did. Like really kind of neat. Yeah. So that's my story. About All right. <laughs>
There's a turkey, but it won't come out. It might be good for us that it doesn't come out. There, you see it move a little. And there's a hen in there with it. How about that? Bring it up. You cock it all the way back. Because right now it's at half cock. It won't shoot, so don't go off half cock. That's where they get that. Trigger. When you when you cock it all the way back and you pull the trigger, that goes forward. That sparks this powder, which burns through the hole. That's got to press. That's got to press. Well, that this part, this this covers it, so it won't fall out. So it it, it ignites and burns. The big flash, and we're going to be shooting it within the next. 40 minutes or something. It burns through that hole where it is compacted. The ball and paper's holding it in. It blows up, and the only place for it to go is here. And then we're back to this position again, and we're reloading. This one's a 70. This one's a 75. Oh. Uh -oh. How come there's a guy in red? 
Some chickens along with the turkey. <laughs> 